Gotta get the microphone on. Hello everybody, welcome to the next Halloween LP. If it will load, it's by Human Entertainment. Made by humans. Not sure if you knew that. But, the game we're gonna play for the next Halloween LP is... Taking its time, uh... You know what, fuck it. We're playing Clock Tower, the European version, because it was only ever released in Japan, on the Super Famicom, and in Europe in English. That, thankfully, they know how to they speak it too. And there was also a PS1 re-release, which I was not aware of. That had a few things added to it, but let's get on to it. So, I had a previous three video recording of this where I tried to do the live action... Not live action, live cam. And, uh, it... Didn't go well, nothing interesting spooked. Did this save all my stuff? Oh, hey, look at that. It did. Anyways, what I was trying to do originally was to get the S ending, but you know what? I'm going to show you just how the A ending gets. How to get the A ending. Or not how, just going through the game, trying to get the best ending as possible. Alright, game start. You know, originally I thought this game was a lot more scary, but I guess not. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were wanted as adopted daughters. The only thing that's actually, like, truly horrifying is the music. It happened in September. Hey, that was last month. I guess we're all past that. This game has really nice uh, graphics, though, I gotta say, and I'm recently getting back into sprite arting, so... You know, this would be something to learn. Laura, hurry up. You want to be there before sunset, before the horror begins. Yeah, it's got good sprite art. I could sure learn from this. Miss Mary, yes, from now on, what kind of place will, be, will we be living in? That's the fifth time you asked. Don't worry, it's a very nice place. We're almost there, see? So yeah, I'm getting back into sprite arting and just stuff like this. They they might have traced over it, but if they didn't, then props to the, uh, the artists who did all this, because it's... It's really good! Not amazing, but it's really good. Now, th this stuff is pretty amazing right here. What a huge place. As for the characters, they're not that detailed, but you can tell what they are. Yeah, the main hall's gigantic. It's gargantuan. I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. You know, we could go for the S S ending though. Let's try. It's just slightly different, but um, can but uh, in Canyon, it's either ending A or B, as I was told by Angel. So it's a point and click on the Super Nintendo. It's kind of not quite optimized for it, but hey, it works. Uh, okay, the Y button. I know I just played this just like a few days ago, but still, it's just, you gotta get back used to it. Hey, Anne. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Is something wrong? This house makes me f uneasy. Well, too late now. Oh, she has brown hair in their sprite, but not in their icon, which, uh, might have wanted to get the communication checked out, guys. Except for Lote. I doubt I'll ever get to, used to this place. She looks like Paige. I swear if you cast it, if, I swear if you had, like, a movie of Clock Tower of this, you'd cast Paige for this. Hey, Lota's scared. Of course, the downside is that is you can never say lo save Lote. Or Lot. However you want to pronounce it. Hey, can you go find Miss Mary? You know, this kind of gives me the Cinderella vibe. They're just, like, telling her to do stuff. I know she's the main character, but... What happened to Miss Mary? I'll explain about the gameplay after this. This is... 
there's there's stuff to read. Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No, no, I'll go look for her. Uh oh, music starting up. Uh, the Y button is the thing that lets you select things, and as you can see, unlike point and clicks, it actually highlights what you can interact with, which, which is helpful. Which is uh, helpful. Also, the shoulder buttons uh, let you run from side to side. Oh, we gotta keep moving. Can I can I go up here for four then? No. The main hall. Girls? Come on, this isn't funny. I don't know where they went though. There's not really any place you can go through. And you can't go upstairs. At least Jennifer can't. I don't know who knocked out the lights. They certainly weren't cut. Yeah, so I was trying to do a live cam recording of this. Turned out the lights, put on, turned up the music. Didn't do it. I mean, maybe back then I would have I would have worked like you know if you're a kid, but no. Right here, there's a little rock. There's a little rock that we gotta that, or we don't have to get it, but it sure would help to get it. A pile of trash, wood, and concrete pocketed a rock. You can't quite tell what you can pick up. Oh, the A button is where you select your items and then you work it over things. Work it, work it. Looks like a courtyard. We don't want to be here. I just want to make an exit over here in case we're stuck here or we get caught. Now let's let's move on. Let's get rolling. La 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 la. And then some eyes pop up in the window. I guess not. Let's go. Go into the first door to get something, if it's in this first door. By the way, this game randomizes each time, which is uh, what confused the hell out of me when I was trying to play it, because certain things wouldn't pop up, and then I had to... L I looked up a guide after I beat the game, and then found out, oh, things... it randomizes in this game. See this box here? Sometimes there's a key, and sometimes there isn't. I guess we're... I don't know, it's either, it's random, or if you go through a certain path, certain things are just like, changed up for it. But from what I've, from what I've read, it's random. I should also turn off Facebook. I apologize if that gave anyone a fright. It was not a noise from this game, which could have confused, uh, people who are veterans at this, or at least have played this for a pretty long time. Alright, then there's some things over here. We can examine the mirror, but we would... But there's a chance we could get killed by it, so... Well, we, I can avo you can avoid it, but I don't want to showcase that. Take a look at the photo. What is this thing? It's not important, it's just, like, things. Details, you look into the story. That, that's pretty creepy, art. Spider. A bottle of perfume. We need this, by the way. I didn't notice it the very first time I played it, but... We need it. Hmm, it smells like Miss Mary. Picked a perfume. By the way, don't release the the uh, the bird. I want to say parrot, but it's too small to be a parrot, or at least from from my point of view. Hey, 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 hey! I find a little saving power. You go through this door. You might want a map for this, but you don't really need one. It's not a very big uh, place. There's the washroom, which I don't want to go into because it gets one of the characters killed. So I'm just going to avoid it. Although it creates a very cinematic uh, scare, we're going to go through here. I think you're not supposed. I think you're not supposed to get the ceiling kill. But the reason I'm doing this is because you can trigger the ceiling kill by accident. I love how I can point at stuff now. Hey, look at that. You think it's lagging, but it's not. Because it's not. Oh, whoops. Did I die already? Oops. My bad. Oh, that's how you die. You just 
get knocked down. There's no blood. Yeah, it just throws it back at the beginning. And we can press continue. Quick start, I think, just skips the intro, because I think... They didn't have a button for that back then, so this was just jump the gameplay. Alright. Previously, before... Or, what if Jennifer didn't get killed? I think you're supposed to save her, but I... But as long as you have one of the two girls alive, that's not loat, uh... You'll get the S ending. So we go through here. Which, um... Which resets things, so now he's not here. But if you but the music is still going, so he's technically still around us. Now we're gonna go to this one room that can be abused over and over again to uh, safely escape from uh Scissor Man. Or Scissor Kid. He's no man. His mom didn't make him a man. He was a birth defect. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, gotta say, what a loving mother to still care for them, even though they are birth defects. I think they were birth defects. Ignore that phone call, you can't even interact with it. There's only one phone in this entire game, and I don't freaking get it. Go through here... Try and get in there. Uh, trying to get into doorways is sometimes annoying. Now, click over here. Then you'll uh, climb over it. This is where you have to keep pressing B because her stress meter will pop up. You don't actually click over here to jump over it, which just. You know, when I when I went into this room the first time after so long, I was like, oh, where the fuck do I click? Where the fuck do I click? And then I just died because uh, also don't use the speed up button if you're playing this on emulator. You are just. Really, you you are really just gonna screw yourself over, especially because since you won't be able to press the um, the quick time. Well, I guess you could call it quick time events uh, fast enough. Now we explore this room. There's some rope that I I think there's only one use for it. I don't quite remember. It's access a certain area like. I don't know. When we, if we ever, if we get, ever get to see it in this uh, run playthrough, we'll 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 see about it. By the way, if you must request me uh, getting the other endings, I will do so. I mean, since I found out this game isn't actually very long, I, I don't really mind it. But uh, endings S A B are relatively the same, relatively. So. But if you must ask me to do it, I will try and, you know, you can watch for how that progresses, but really, you should just, if you really want to see the endings, you should just look at, like, the endings for it, because, like, the middle portion of the game doesn't really change. Bird's nest. Now, apparently there's something in the bird's nest if you can interact with it, so... I should also turn off Skype, too. Wait, hang on. Okay, you press X to stop, and excuse me, I'm just going to put on Do Not Disturb as opposed to turning off Skype. I don't know how to get her to do that. It, it looks like she's... Or, after all... I don't know. Uh, Jennifer, I was kind of hoping you'd push it. Looks like a bird's nest. Looks like a bird's nest. Hmm. I have to see if there's anything in it, though. I don't know. If the bird appears, does that mean there's nothing in it that's worth my time? Or do I have to find some clever, dev devised way to figure it out? We'll just have to see on this episode, don't we? I'll tell you this, this game is not as obscure as uh, Clock Tower, uh, the PlayStation, uh, the, the second Clock Tower game on PlayStation, the one that Angel Halo Review, which you can check out, rivercitygamers.wordpress.com. 
but let's poke it again. It looks like we're just not going to be getting anything from that. I guess we need... I don't know if we should. We can throw a rock at it. Apparently now we're panicked. Or, yeah, she's... The, the, depending on the color of her icon, that's how much quote-unquote health she has. It's her, more of a panic meter. Oh yeah, this game can be relatively slow. <sighs> I could speed it up. I do have the speed up button on this. Oh my god, this is so slow. I probably might just... Just do it for the sake of you watching it, but you won't get the full experience of this. At the same time, if I was actually here, and I wouldn't be, but if I wa but if I had to be, I'd probably move a lot faster. Granted that there's a killer in the house, I probably wouldn't do that, but grant but being that I know what happens, it's kind of a uh, it's kind of irritating. The more knowledge you have, the less fear you have. It's just a fact. The more you know, the less frightening it is. Especially since when you're more prepared. But in this case, the more you know. By the way, it takes a while for her to like recover her uh her calmness. Grab the meat over here. Do not mind that light flickering. It means nothing. It is. It does. Uh, it is scary though, or you know, in an atmospheric kind of way. Yeah. After, after we pick up that ham. After we pick up that ham, suddenly the fridge is empty. Oh, shit! 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 I forgot to get the insect side. Oh shit, now we gotta, we gotta, gotta now we gotta run. I think you can die from this. Not gonna try. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, but this time bring out the insecticide, which looks like a, which doesn't look like insecticide, it looks like those drum barrels. Jennifer looks like she's taking a dump right now, like, oh! Spray the insecticide, insecticide, die! Which is just the sprites disappearing. Apparently in the PlayStation version, there's a face that appears, which is, uh, that, that's pretty scary. Yeah, that's scary shit. Alright, let's go. Uh, apparently in the, um, not in the, not Indiegogo, not indie games, uh, oh yeah, there was that remake of this game, supposedly. I need to take a look at that. Uh, but uh, if you uh, to get the S ending, I think you have to not be drugged by uh, Miss Mary. So be careful of that. I always got drugged by Miss Mary because that was like the only thing that uh, that that seemed like stuff was progressing. There are multiple ways to play this or to go through this game. Oh, I also have to mention you kind of need your your need Jennifer to be calm and in her health to um what was it what was it what was it what was it to actually beat some of or defend herself against certain things. So this is kind of annoying. Cuz there's this one part where like uh, you'll get trapped into this doll this event where this killer doll tries to well kill you. Don't ask me why and how, but it does. And, um, oh right, that thing was blocked off. 
And um, what was it? 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 And if you have like, if if Jennifer is in like her red health, is in like panicking mode, which is right now, or she's feeling really uneasy right now, you don't even get a chance to defend yourself. I don't have the I don't have the wing key. Now to restore it, you just stand. St or from what I can figure out of how to restore it is just to stand still and not move until she regains her composure and also not running because running you know running uh, works your cardio speeds up the heart rate but it is rather annoying that we have to slowly walk oh yeah this game might have been a bit more scary if Scissorman occasionally uh, just came out as you were walking through the mansion and just trying to kill you. Nope, he only pops up in certain rooms, so... Yeah. And as for it being random, it is, but not quite. I mean, 75%, or, uh, not that I know the exact percentage, but most of the time, and when I say most of the time, it's like 75, 3 quarters of the time, he usually is in those spots. Now some people might be, hmm, I apologize if I disappointed some of the people who want to see the shower killing scene. That was pretty terrifying. But yeah, look at the, look at the sprite work in this game, it's, okay, it's, when it's a little repetitive, it's a little repetitive, but it's still pretty good. I can tell what everything is. That door looks a little odd, just to, just to point out. And let's stop the video now. So, on the next episode of Clock Tower, we make progress, so stay tuned for more.